lot. I started with shirts because that's what the guy was mainly, uh, the instructor on the course mainly focused on was shirts because people wear shirts all the time and you could just create graphics and all kinds of sayings and things on shirts and the print on demand thing means you create the design, the graphic, like say, I don't know, I had an Artist Matters logo. So I put my Artist Matters logo up there and you could use different colors for your shirts and sizes. So you just have the design. So someone can go to the store, select the design. I don't have any shirts at my physical location. Those designs are sent to a fulfillment center and they put it on the shirt and ship it. So I don't have any actual physical product. It seems like such a good model because you don't have a bunch of inventory. You don't have to sell, you know, a stack of shirts in your house. But the fulfillment center is in Mexico. And from my shirt sale with fees and all that taken out, I only made about 55 cents. So I don't know about continuing with that. It doesn't seem like a viable product. I don't like the way they have it too because you have to have money set aside in PayPal and they take it out of there to fulfill, but then you get paid by the person who bought your shirt or whatever separately. It seems kind of odd. They should take it from the sale. I did open up another one on redbubble.com. And that one, I put the Artist Matters design on a whole bunch of things that you can purchase from shirts to cell phone cases to notebooks and things like that. I'll have the link set up there. I also put a little drawing I did for my movie Dead Planet. It's a cool drawing. You know, vampire and werewolf fighting. It's nice. Uh, so check out that. I think Redbubble might be a little more of a viable option. It also is a drop shipping site. I don't know where the orders get fulfilled, but Hopefully there's more variety there and make some profit. So please check it out. Shop there and get some Artist Matters swag. It's not, I put the two design logos on there for the Artist Matters under cell phones and, like I said, shirts and all kinds of doodads. So check it out. One of my previous guests, Clarissa Castillo Ramsey, had a great little week-long workshop called From Employee to Entrepreneur, which I joined. It was great. She had some guests and some great tips, and I'm really happy to see what she's doing with that. She's just expanding things. She she and I had a clarity call, almost like a coaching call. Help me focus in on stuff because, uh, yeah, the scripts I'm, I've been working on, I've also been going back to the movie idea called Reminded. It's tough because it doesn't seem that visually interesting and stimulating to me at first. So I'm, it's a struggle. That one's being a little struggle because I'm trying to make it a feature. So it's work. Um, she helped me refocus on some things. And I also wanted to get back into doing voiceover work because I know I can do well in that. I enjoy it. It's a lot of competition, but I know I can make a mark and... It's something I could do here. You know, I would love to be acting on screen or on stage, but it's a little challenging here in the Florida area. Not impossible, but challenging. Uh, but that's where I'm trying to refocus things. Unfortunately, there have been deaths. Um, some people I kind of knew, and but uh, this guy recently named... David, who I knew from karaoke, he was probably around my age. But the one that really hit hard was my friend John Lipinski, or I call him Johnski. He was just six months older than me. I met him in 10th grade. <laughs> this goofy, dorky guy. Um, back then, but his voice was so deep and rich. Like, wow, he is like a radio announcer voice, and he... Joined our high school radio station, WXBA, in Brentwood, New York, and encouraged me to try out. So I did, and I became a DJ too. He moved down here to Florida just before senior year, and we kind of lost touch, and I met up with him in 2009, 
thanks to Facebook. And we just happened to live like 20 minutes from each other. So we reconnected. And he had an internet radio station, of course, called Star 99. And of course, he encouraged me to come along and I became DJ Al X. And still do the shows under maximum tunage. I took over Star 99 when he went more for Christian radio. And then I phased Star 99 out. And if you could, you could see, I'll give a link to my maximum tunage site there on Spreaker. I do a few shows. I'm going to do a birthday show coming up. I always do one. But anyway. Uh, but he brought Star 99 back briefly last few years. And then I hadn't seen him for a while. You know, we maybe touch base here and there. And then um, I was on Facebook and then I saw a post by his sister showing that he died. Like, Whoa, 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 whoa. Johnsky. What? How is that possible? He's dead? Apparently he passed in his sleep. Uh, I won't go into the details of why, but I mean, he had some health issues. And that was it. Uh, His father's still alive. He's outlived him. Went to his wake the next month. It was a very nice one. They had a microphone outside set up and uh, I think some uh, Star 99 t-shirt. It was nice. And a little photo collage. That was it. It really hit me hard. It, I didn't think it would. I didn't. I haven't cried, but you know what? This is someone who was six months older than me. We're almost the same age and he's gone. That's it. He's never going to enjoy retirement. All those years he worked as a custodian. And he really wanted to be a full-time DJ, but that never happened. Like, as a career. With pay. And he's never going to know what that's like. I mean, he never... is going to see his nieces and nephews grow up anymore. And it was really eye-opening that what am I doing with myself? Or just a few months apart and in one sense it feels like time is running out if it could happen to him it could happen to me it happened to that other guy I knew David I mean what people around my age that I know that I grew up with this is not supposed to happen to them not yet and it's just really is a kick in the pants that, man, what am I doing? What kind of legacy am I going to leave behind? I want to live to see these things. I want to experience more. I want to live more. I want to spend more time with family, people close to me. I want to expand my bubble here and do more. Get out of the day job and live the life I really want with whom I want and experience the things I want. Because, man, it, 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 there's just, it's just so final when you pass. That's it. What are you leaving behind for those you care about? You know, my friend John Ski, he was a fun guy. He was very kind and pleasant to be around and encouraging. And that's his legacy. That's it. Nothing else leave behind. But it's just gone too soon. I don't want to be that. I mean, maybe that's partially why I had to do all that bodily maintenance just to make sure everything's okay. And then there's this next phase, you know. What am I doing with myself? 50, going on 51. Just kind of meandering around the world here. And it's time to make some changes and take things to another level. Because this level is okay, but it's not working out the way it should be, right? And if you're feeling that rut, I, you know, I encourage you to find something else. If it's in the creative field, you got to answer that call. If you have to keep a day job, nothing wrong with that. That's your investment money into whatever endeavor. If you want to be a painter, it's going to help buy supplies for you. If you need to take classes, 
and other things like a musician you need guitar lessons or something singing lessons coaching use that time I know my biggest weakness is my movies I love my movies and I watch them a lot <laughs> and ones I've seen many times before it gives me inspiration and fires me up but it is a time killer uh, so I'm trying to find that balance of doing that and focusing on something that can generate some income in my creative endeavors and move forward with my life because I don't want to say time is running out but it can be short I did not think I'd reach 50 this fast and not have a lot to show for it yes I'm aware of being grateful for just being able to talk to you right now being able to see being able to smell use my hands walk swim um you know have a have a roof over my head that I can still pay for and I'm not living on the street I'm so grateful for that and my family too they're doing well and um uh, it's just I want to do more for me and for them so that's where I'm at right now the halfway mark I think I've covered everything as you can see so the artist matter still exists and uh I'm still here. I'm just not pursuing looking for guests as much as I used to, but I would like to uh, bring back previous guests and see how they've progressed in the future. It's just the time thing. And since summer's coming, you know what that means. Time with the granddaughter. So if I have guests in the fall, we'll see. Depends on the time. And uh, if not, I'll see you at the end of 2021 with a recap and hopefully by then things will be uh, moving onwards and upwards creatively, artistically, and financially. So yeah, I encourage you to do the same thing. If you're getting that tug to do something creative, artistic, what have you, answer that call. If you have to do it in little spurts, it's okay. Just make a plan, do things in a certain order, take classes, just do whatever it takes Time can be short, so use it wisely, as I'm trying to do. Uh, anyway, short but sweet, I guess. So that's my mid-year recap. So enjoy your summer. Things are opening up. Masks are coming off. Movie theaters are opening up a little bit here and there. I don't know about theatrical. Broadway is supposed to open up soon, or they have already. I'm not sure. Concerts are your hit or miss, but I encourage you to do that. But there's so much more you can do on your own. But it is nice to see some of these things are opening. So support your artists. Go see plays. Go see concerts. Go, ta go visit tattoo artists. Uh, buy their books. Uh, take painting classes. And... Uh, We'll get through this. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's nice to see things opening up and hopefully it'll be a much more lively time this summer. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in to The Artist Matters. Check out my links. Check out the the stores. Buy some Artist Matters merch. I'd love to have you check it out and get some... I'd love to see some Artist Matters shirts. Hey, if you buy any of my stuff here... Take a photo of it. Put it on the uh, Artist Matters Facebook page. Love to see your photos of you in your Artist Matters swag and merch. It would be so cool. Alrighty then. Well, keep you posted. And uh, it's been real. Take care of you guys. Enjoy your summer. And of course, no matter where you go, let your creativity flow. Bye. Bye.